Hi, Mavi here. I have a super fun and easy and quick Photoshop Elements pattern tutorial for you today. Someone asked me how to make a chevron pattern, also known as a zigzag, and it's actually really super easy and you have endless possibilities. So let's get started. I'm using Photoshop Elements 10 today, but you can certainly use this tutorial on any Photoshop product that you might have. You just might have to look up on the internet how to find some of the tools if you're not familiar where they are in your particular product. So if you go up to File, New, we're going to create a blank file. And today we're going to use my favorite size for making patterns, which is 100 pixels by 100 pixels with the resolution set at 100 pixels per inch. You can adjust this however you like. It will change the size of your pattern when you fill later on. The most important thing is that you have the background content set to transparent so that you can put this pattern on top of a different background if you like. If you can't see transparent, go ahead and click on the little arrow and the drop down will give you some choices. Then click OK. If your canvas is too small, you can use Control Plus to zoom in. And that will just make it a little bit easier for you to see. It didn't make the canvas bigger, it just made your view a little bit closer. So we're actually zoomed into 300%. The very first thing we need to do is we need to make a couple of guides so that our pattern will be nice and symmetrical. Go ahead and go up to View, select New Guide, and the first guide we're going to make is going to be right in the middle at 50 pixels, and it's going to be a vertical guide. Click OK. The second guide we need is going to be about a third of the way down. It's going to be horizontal at 30 pixels. This is going to mark where the top or the point of our chevron sits. The rest of it is so easy. You're just going to use a rectangle tool. So you're going to draw a rectangle right at the top. You want it to be about a third of the height and right about half of the width. If you have to adjust it, you can with Control T and then just slide that down to the bottom corner. We're going to transform this from a rectangle to a parallelogram for the first half of our chevron. So use Control or Command T for your transform tool. And this is a really important set. You need to find your skew tool. In Photoshop Elements 10, it's just right up here next to my width, height, and rotation. So I'm going to use my skew, and I'm just going to drag this side up till the point meets right in that intersection and then I'm going to commit that layer. So as you can see we made the parallelogram and we just have to duplicate this layer to make the other half. Either right click on your layer and click duplicate layer or use the quick command control J. Next we need to transform this layer with command T and I'm going to right click and I'm just going to flip this layer vertically and drag this half over to the other side. That's it. There's my shapes. If you want to change the color you can certainly do so by double clicking and selecting a different color. Just make sure whatever you do to one side, you do to the other. Otherwise, you're going to have half, half and half. Next, all you have to do is create or define your pattern. So make another blank layer on the bottom. Go up to Edit, Define Pattern, and then name your pattern, whatever you want to name it, and click OK. Now let's go ahead and use the pattern we just made and fill another blank file. Go up to File, New. Let's make a bigger file this time. I'm going to use one of my presets, a scrapbook size 6 inch by 6 inch, and the resolution is going to be set at 300. I want to make sure that my background is transparent. And to fill in with your pattern, you're just going to select your paint bucket tool. Make sure that you have your pattern choice selected, and then choose the pattern you just made. Then fill it in. There you go. All done. Now to color this, you have a couple of different choices. You can either Use your paint bucket tool, uncheck pattern, select the foreground color, and on the pattern layer, fill in each individual color. Or you can choose to select the entire pattern, the same color, all at once by adding a new fill or adjustment layer. It's a little symbol that looks like a circle half and half. Select solid color. Then you're going to go up to layer and create clipping mask. The quick command for this is comp Control plus G. Another fun thing you can do is if you get rid of your visibility on that fill layer, you can fill in the spaces in between or the background layer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the background layer, find a contrasting color, fill those in, then I'm going to go ahead and click on my 
pattern layer and I'm going to fill in the spaces in between. And then I can make super fat ones. So as you can see, you have so many different choices here. You can make whatever you want and so many different patterns. It's a really good pattern to have under your belt. It can make some really fun stuff for you and make some fun backgrounds. Of course, you can use all sorts of different filters on this if you like, but that's basically it. We did this in less than five minutes. We were able to make a pattern and fill it and then just have a lot of fun. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave your comments in the box below.